Mexican America votes. It's a big week in Arizona with early voting starting today. Maricopa County election workers making sure your voice counts and there are no issues when it comes to tabulating your vote. Officials running an equipment test Tuesday for logic and accuracy. We do want to bring in our Jamie Warren. She's live this morning sharing what you need to know as voters do head to the polls. Good morning. Good morning, Kaylee and Nick. Election officials tell us that they are expecting record high participation in this year's election. That means the staff here at the Tabulation Center will be very busy counting a lot of ballots. And right outside of the Tabulation Center, they have a 24 hour drop box. So once you get that early ballot in the mail, you could come here and drop it off before Election Day. We also have some additional dates that we want you to keep in mind. You'll probably get that early ballot in your mailbox a few days from now, so just keep checking. And you still have time to request one if you haven't already. The deadline for that is October 25th. The last day to mail your ballot back is on October 29th. You can also drop off your early ballot anytime at Dropbox locations across the valley or drop it off on Election Day, which is November 5th. BeBallotReady.Vote has a map to show you locations that you are allowed to go to, and you can go to any voting location. We also have information on ABC15.com slash voter guide. Maricopa County recorder Stephen Richards says that in 2020, about 15% of registered voters voted on actual election day. He's expecting that to be about the same for this election, which means 85% of the vote will come through early ballots. And to give you some additional context this morning on just how many ballots are going to be counted here in Maricopa County, Maricopa County is the second largest jurisdiction in the entire country. So millions will be counted leading up to Election Day and on Election Day. That goes to show you just how large of a scope here we have in Arizona. Kaylee and Nick, I'll send things back to you. All right, we do appreciate that behind the scenes look. Thank you for that, Jamie. And ahead of the November election, other swing states like North Carolina, Pennsylvania, Nevada, and Michigan are seeing a high volume of mail-in and absentee voting. That's prompted multiple lawsuits from Republicans, but Democrats have also been waging legal fights there to make sure these votes get counted. And don't forget, ABC 15 has you covered. If you want more information about a particular candidate or a ballot measure, just head to abc15.com slash voter guide.